I was looking back at some stats uh, from the CDC, the, you know, the war on cancer, which is, is very popular. Um, when that started, cancer was the second leading cause of death back in the early 70s. Uh, 20 years ago, it was the same. Today, it's the same. With all the money that goes into to funding treatments and cures, why have we not gotten any traction on that? We're looking at cancer from a very uh, illogical perspective. And so the idea was Alexander Fleming in 1929 discovered uh, penicillin as a way of addressing infections. And he found in this petri dish, there was this gray furry blob and around it, all the bacteria were killed. And so a bright mind uh, favors, a chance favors a bright mind. And he went on to eventually get a Nobel Prize in medicine for his work in antibiotics. And you can cure an, a bacterial infection with antibiotics. And the theme was, fast forward a couple of decades, they said, we're going to do the same thing for cancer. They can't and never will. And here's the problem. Um, cancer and infections and parasites and many other problems are opportunistic infections. They invade a body that has compromised host defenses. Uh, and so my talk today basically looked at the need for a paradigm shift. Um, for centuries, the way of keeping time was with a pendulum and then with gears attached to the pendulum. And then the parts kept getting smaller and then they put jewels on them and then the jewel watchmaker's job was extremely tedious and they said if we can make the parts smaller and more uh, jewels, we're going to be able to make the perfect timepiece. And somebody said, wait a minute, wipe the slate clean, let's just start fresh. And they came up with a, uh, a quartz crystal which pulses at a perfect pulse and you can measure that and you can create perfect time without a moving part. So they exploded the paradigm of keeping time. I'm fast forwarding into cancer treatment. They keep thinking if we could make higher doses and longer cycles of chemotherapy, we could cure cancer. Can't. Need to change paradigm. 